All right, morning guys, again. So what I got to do this morning before it gets a little too warm is I'm going to change the fill filter on the fourth gen. <clears throat> so it's way down in there. Way down right there. Anyway, uh, that's the fuel filter I got. FS43255 Fleet Guard. <clears throat> Comes with the filter. The filter, some O-rings. Or maybe it's just a one O-ring. Anyway, comes with the O-ring that's already on the filter. So, nothing else. <clears throat> so, I got about 5,000 miles on this filter. And I figure I'm going to need to change it. So, I'm going to go get some tools set up in here. I've got my got my gloves on because I hate diesel so let me go get uh, something set up in here and get started be back all right guys I'm back so <clears throat> it's a one and an eighth inch socket on a swivel with an extension to get that to put it on that top of that the nut that's on there zoom in so right down in there oops. Oops, oops, oops. hold on hold on Let's see if that can work okay that might work okay so this yellow thing is your water fuel separator. Just want to turn it. Drain some fuel out. You can even see that down there. <clears throat> kind of got the camera in my way for you guys. Anyway, so I'm just bleeding it out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to turn it off because I want to keep some fuel in the bowl. So, you just need an extension. And that socket. So, I haven't, I haven't broken this loose yet. Let's make sure it's on there straight because it's plastic. Turn it those loose. Pull this crap off. And spin this off by hand. Something's gonna leak out. And I have a harness in my way. Let's see if I can't get it with the harness in the way. Okay. So there's the cap. Also just just keep some rags here. So the cap there. This filter out. You guys will see what I see as far as dirtiness. Of this filter just doesn't actually look too bad. I'm just trying to get most of it to drain. So. 
So here you go. It's pretty dirty, but not nothing too crazy. quick up on the stool so you can see there's a dirty one and there's the clean one so you just want to make sure you add a little lube lube to this o-ring here I'm just taking some lube from this one. And uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see, Cummins right there. So you know it's gonna work. It's gonna have to work, it's Cummins. So, and there's also an O-ring on here. stick this one in there <clears throat> nice and slow so that it, it absorbs some fuel as it goes in you don't want all the fuel to come out so if you push it down with force <clears throat> right now a lot of the fuel will just come out so just push it in there nice and easy Okay, it's down, and now I gotta find a way to take this O-ring off. So let me go. Let me go get a pick set real quick. Should have done this to begin with. Should have thrown a light in here. By the way, you can't you can't know everything. So I'm just gonna take this pick, take this old O-ring off. <clears throat> so that's the old O-ring. can get a little bit of some diesel fuel that might be inside of here just get it just lube this lube this whole ring up with some diesel fuel this way it goes back on nice and neat and so it doesn't tear I'm sure you don't overstretch it. They go on pretty loose, so they don't take a lot of a lot of force to get them on. Just work it down. 
bars it'll go just down into that groove and groovy okay okay and then just take the cap clean it up a little bit Diesel as you can out. And then just take it and work it back on. Okay. And then just hand tighten it. For now. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's some type of torque spec on it. But, you know us, oh, almost fell, <laughs> you know us garage monkeys, we just wrench on it, wrench on it until it's tight, so that's one, Step stool. Stupid thing. <laughs> mm. Should change my YouTube name to like clumsy filmer or something. Anyway, stick it on and just want to make sure it's tight. Okay, that's tight. And that's pretty much it. Get all your crap out of here. Just make sure, make sure your little water fuel separator is tight. It's good. And then get all your crap out. And then uh, turn the turn the truck on. Just the uh, hold on. I gotta. Hands. So you're just going to want to turn the truck on and uh, turn the ignition on. Which let me go get the keys. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just going to turn the truck on. <clears throat> turn the ignition on. You'll hear the everything prime, basically. So it's just priming. So we get our little and then uh, fire it up. It might die, it might not. And then that's pretty much it. You just check for leaks. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Got success. 
So I don't see any leaks. I don't see anything. Um, this is the old filter here. Doesn't look too bad, but you know, whatever. That's about 5,000 miles, which is weird because uh, I do them 5,000 miles. Take that, somebody. Um, anyway, I do them 5,000 miles on the on the Dodge diesels, but like this diesel, it recommends it at 80,000 miles. So, I don't know, uh, maybe because it's a high pressure inline and this is just more like a uh, low pressure filter filtration system um, and then doesn't get high pressure until, until it goes through the uh, common rail and all the other junk. But yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Um, but, so anyway, that's going to be it for that video. Quick boring little video for you guys for me um, took more time for me to get tools and get lighting and set up a camera than it took to actually just do it so anyway alright guys that's going to be it for this video uh, make sure you guys like give me a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it tell me why you don't like it tell me why people why and then uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't already um, check out my other videos. There's a previous video over here. I've been slacking on the previous videos and uh, little links and tabs and my boy one and Glenn. Uh, but so happens when you work. So anyway, I guess thanks for watching. Later.